Hey everybody, welcome to uh, NAMM Show 2011, Guitar Jeff. And uh, as you can see, matter of fact, let's spin around and show everybody that the, the show is actually not open yet. This is really, really fun. I mean, the insanity to think about, there's going to be a, an excess of 50,000 people here, and they'll be flooding in the doors in about another 30 minutes. So it's really pretty, really pretty cool to be able to do, uh, do a little spot here. And uh, what I want to uh, do for you guys today, and you girls, of course, is that I want to show you a little bit of some of the new uh, models that I put together with Real Guitar, Real Strat, and Real Les Paul Custom. Um, and I also want to, uh, the questions that I've been asked during the show, uh, the most common question that I'm getting about the Real Strat and Les Paul Custom is, you know, how do you get your sounds? You know, you know, I have this stuff and I'm not getting the same sound you are. So how are, how are you getting your sounds? So I want to break this down just a little bit. When you buy these guitars, they are clean. They're absolutely clean. There are no effects on the samples whatsoever. Just like with a guitar when you buy it from the store. If you buy a Stratocaster and go home, you got to plug it into an amplifier. That's the magic of the amp sims. And I've said in the other videos, the amplifier simulators that I used, my choices are uh, Amplitude 3 and uh, Native Instruments Guitar Rig. And those are what I use to create my sounds. I can't stress enough the importance of taking the time to create your sims. Because that's really where the magic is. You know, Eric Clapton, he didn't just buy an amplifier and plug in. I mean, he took years to craft that sound. And hopefully it won't take you that long to uh, achieve the same results. But that's how you get the sound with these instruments. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'll play you a couple of the new of the new Les Paul sounds. One of these you probably have already heard. And also what we're going to get into is uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the pick. Hey, come on in, Carlo. Let's get a little closer on this one. What I want to what I want to stress on these is when you when you play the instruments, you have absolute control. And if you you see over here. I have my bridge mute activated. One of the really cool things about this is that not only can you activate your bridge mute, and you guys should be aware of that by now if you own the product, um, but you can set the you can set the parameters of your velocity. And this is really important. I prefer to set my parameters so I can attack my bridge mute on and off with my fingers. So watch a little bit here. Check it out. Let me get on the right page with this. There we go. Listen to the dynamics of how I get the sound, because everybody goes, Jeff, how do you do that? How do you do that? And they keep thinking I'm using key switches for this. I'm not. I'm actually just using the dynamics of my fingers. This is the magic of the instrument, just like a guitar, playing it dynamically. I get is about the bending and, and once again the bending I have it I have a full octave up and down on here that's where the bending has come from I have all the semitones in between and yes you really need a ribbon to pull these bends off the way that I do them. Uh -huh. 